Someone hand me the uh, Anna Cannon Punter. Roll, darling. We need okay, names. listen up. Just David, follow what I, I say. Love. We'll all get out of this alive. First off, tell me, how many people do we have playing? Leagues on team number three. Coming right up. One player, super duper. What's your name? Away you the sensation. Okay, you want a seven question game or you want a 21 question game? What's the Got you 30 covered. seconds. No problem. Your buzzer is the letter B is in baboon. Fly in the bush. Hey, maybe if I shave, you won't mistake me for your mother. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Oh boy. Uh, okay. When you know an answer, buzz in. If you don't, don't. But if you buzz, you only got a few seconds to pick one of the choices or you're going to lose cash. Follow me? Alrighty then. 10 seconds. 9. 8. Lose the desktop. 7. 6. 5. Take it to black. 4. Here we go. 3. Arthur Daniels Hartland. If we told you who we are, we'd have to kill you. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Hey there, my name's Cookie. You have any questions at all, please feel free to keep them to yourself. Anyway, so it's just you playing this time around, huh? Nothing to be ashamed of, just don't let it happen again. Well, let's get started. All right, hit me. And this one is... Aye! Run for the border! $1,000 at stake on this one. Hey, you know what they say about all carnage and no play? Imagine that Godzilla's enemy Mothra is taking a vacation to sunny Mexico. Because it would involve cannibalism on his part, which of these tasty south-of-the-border treats might Mothra be too horrified to eat? Papas fritas, frijoles saltandos mexicanos, chimichangas, or sol cerveza? See, now, I could have given you some cash if you pick this. Ah! Frijoles saltandos mexicanos or Mexican jumping beans jump because of tiny moth larvae inside them. So Mothra, you know, the giant moth, isn't going to be a big cannibal about it. Besides, I'm sure you'll agree, we don't want something as big as Mothra getting all gassy. I need a category. And I believe this one's called a three-hour saga. Two thousand bucks for a correct answer. Hey, you know how they christen a new ship by smashing a bottle of champagne on it? Well, imagine this. If the SS Minnow were christened in the same way the Vikings christened their ships, what would we have seen on the first episode of Gilligan's Island? The professor performing a ritual suicide, Gilligan sacrificed on the prow, Ginger and Marianne fighting to the death, or the howl spitting on it. Blood, champagne, same thing. The Vikings believe the spirits of the slaughtered victims would guard the ship. <laughs> of course, with Gilligan's spirit guarding the ship, they probably end up hopelessly marooned on a deserted island. Oh, wait. Okay, pick a category. For your enjoyment, Bram Stoker's Bacula. And you're playing for $3,000 cash money. Let's see how you handle this one. Imagine an episode of Quantum Leap in which Scott Bakula's character leaps into a blastula. What will that week's episode be about? An embryonic sack with a moral dilemma, an inflamed scrotum with... One of the earliest stages of development in the life of the embryo is known as the blastula. In its early stages of development, the blastula attaches itself to the uterine wall in much the same way Scott Bakula attached himself to a hit TV series. Category, please. This one's called Possession is Nine Tenths of the Law. Looks like this one's going for a thousand bucks. 
Okay, class, now that I've got your attention, it's time for Morality 101. Tell me what fairy tale you would learn this lesson from. If you live a destitute and squalid life or just a little bit stupid, steal a person's belongings and then murder him, from then on you will live happily ever after. So, which fairy tale teaches this? The old woman who lived in a shoe, Jack and the Beanstalk, Hansel and Gretel, or Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Jack was stupid enough to exchange his cow for some magic beans. Then when the beanstalk grew, he stole the giant stuff and then chopped down the beanstalk, killing him. <laughs> Today, this would be called aggressive career management. Okay, I need a category. The category is, nobody can do the boogaloo like I do. This one's worth a grand. Flex those fingers, cause here it comes. Say instead of singing na 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 for the chorus of Land of a Thousand Dances, you sang the element that N.A. N.A. is the chemical symbol for sodium. Now, if you've got that much salt in the Land of 1000 Dances, then you're gonna be in the Land of 1000 Heart Attacks right after the shimmy. All right, hit me. Coming at you, Spawn of the White House. $2,000 says you don't know this one. Okay, pay attention here, this one's a toughie. Number one, marry Mary Elizabeth Aitchison. Number two, plan sex around wife's menstrual cycles. Number three, get elected vice president. What mathematical set of rules and birth control method is this an example of? Alger hysterectomy, governor rigamy, algorithm method, or CIA IUD? That question was written as an algorithm. Al Gore married Mary Elizabeth Aitchison, and the rhythm method is a way of birth control using a woman's menstrual cycle. <laughs> Woo! All that and not one mention of campaign finances. See, we don't always go for the cheap shot. Category, please. This little number's known as the split ends are killing me. Get it right, I'm handing over 2K. Hey, is my hair getting long? I, I think it's time for a haircut. Take a look at this picture and tell me. Who has just gotten a haircut here? Strawberry Shortcake, Raggedy Ann, Morticia Adams, or Cindy Lauper? Raggedy Ann's hair is a bunch of red yarn. And so are her hairdresser's sweaters. Coincidence? Okay, pick a category. I got some good news for you. You're about to move into a dis or dat. This dis or dat's category name is... They were actually abducted by aliens. All right, listen up. I'm going to read off seven facts and... Uh, oh, so you already know how to play. Okay, let's put 30 seconds on the clock then. Let's do it. Assassinated. Elected in 1860. Elected in 19... Succeeded by a guy named Johnson. And a secretary named Lincoln. And a secretary... Last one. Seven letters in his last... That's all she wrote. Uh, hello. Seven out of seven. Let's throw that into your total. Okay, boss. Let's move on. All right, hit me. Lady Novi is number nine. Say hello to Cows Collect Stamps 2. I'm giving out three grand for a right answer. Put it in gear, because here we go. If Elsie the cow wants to write the most impressive resume possible, which of the following qualifications should she list? USDA Select, USDA Choice, USDA Prime, or USDA Damn Tasty? Generally found only in restaurants and higher-priced butcher shops, USDA-labeled prime beef is the best available cow meat. <laughs> well, guess Celsius headed for what they call a dead-end job. I need a category. Oh, you're so naughty, you just picked a three-way. All right.
righty, here's the deal. Okay, looks like you've been around. I won't bore you with my naivete. Let's turn this baby on. Category for this one is Mis Amigos. And that means we're going to be joined by Chase Martin or Short. Looks like this is it. Here's your three-way. <laughs> That's all we got. Now, let's see how you did. Don't tell me, you've just had a lot on your mind lately. Let's see if we can at least get a rise out of your overall score. So, is it as good for you as it was for me? Probably better. Okay, let's get on with the game. That's it for round one, let's go to round two. Now remember, everything in round two is worth double, so heads up. Okay, I need a category. The category? Fun things to do with a broomstick. You get 4,000 clams for this one. Put your tray in the upright position. It's time for takeoff. Let's say all the countries of the world are having a limbo party. Since they're called the low countries, which group of nations might you expect to limbo the lowest? Greece, Albania, and Bulgaria? Jamaica, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic? Argentina? The Low Countries is an area of Northwest Europe made up of Belgium, Luxembourg, and the Netherlands. <laughs> From what I hear about Amsterdam, I bet the Netherlands is also extremely good at seven minutes in heaven. Category, please. This category is known as, give me just one good treason. How does $2,000 sound? Hey, you know how Benedict Arnold was a big fat traitor, right? Well, if Benedict Arnold had been caught, tried, convicted, and sentenced to public preparation a la Eggs Benedict, what would the viewing public have seen? Benedict cooked on one side with potatoes, Benedict smothered in hollandaise sauce, Benedict fried and topped with onions, or Benedict painted green with a side of ham? Topped with onions? You're making me cry. Here's what you should have picked. Eggs Benedict consists of two poached eggs served with ham on two English muffin halves, all smothered in hollandaise sauce. Huh, smothered in hollandaise. Yeah, how do I get to be one of them traitors? All right, hit me. Swing your partner one and three. A do si -do for the big bird. Now serving... What the fork? 4,000 big ones for a right answer here. Okay, you're at a formal dinner party and you're trying to navigate all the silverware. Try not to tuck the tablecloth into your pants and complete the following missing link. Fish fork, dinner fork, blank, 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 dinner knife, fish knife, soup spoon. Salad fork, plate, salad knife, snail fork, plate, oyster knife, dessert fork, plate, butter knife, or lobster fork, bib, nutcracker. Butter knife? You think the hostess will mind? In case you're wondering... In a formal place setting, the salad fork and knife are closest to the plate. Or you can forget the whole thing and bring your own plastic spork from Taco Bell. I need a category. Looks like there's no lack of bravado here. You've chosen an impossible question. May I introduce... It's time to know Jack. Holy cow, looks like this one's gonna be worth 20,000 big ones. All right, now I assume you bought a copy of every version of You Don't Know Jack, right? If you haven't, get your loser ass to the store and buy them all. Anyway, here's my impossible question. Okay, Speedy, let's see you answer it without the question. All right, that's that's totally weird. You're spooking the crap out of me. How did you possibly get that right? Stop staring at me. Okay, pick a category. 15th floor. 
lingerie, housewares, and useless trivia. Okay, give it up for... Play ball! How does $4,000 grab you? Ever hear that old joke about the last words of the Star Spangled Banner being play ball? Well, hands over your heart and up on your feet. What are the last words of the fourth verse of the Star Spangled Banner? Each verse of the Star Spangled Banner ends with the home of the brave. You can sit down now. Okay, I need a category. Uh-oh, blah, 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 blah. It's time for the licorice best phone. Take a look at your gibberish category. Stay back or I throw the salad. The opening value for this gibberish question is going to be 10K. All right, as soon as you know the answer, buzz in, because I'm taking away some cash every second and a half. Okay, get ready to buzz in and tell me with what song lyric does this gibberish phrase rhyme? Found one old tomato, Mom. And remember, don't let the punctuation fool you. First clue, it's from a David Bowie song. No, not that one. Talk to me, type in your Space Oddity by David Bowie. I hear Ground Control is also looking for Peter Schilling. You know, that guy who wrote the follow-up song, Major Tom Coming Home. I need a category. Number 17. Shake hands with Vox Lox Nox Ox. Play your cards right, you win 4,000 bucks. You know, I've always wanted one of those voice ID locks where just by speaking, a computer identifies you and lets you win. Hmm, wouldn't that be sweet? Imagine that Mel Blank, the great voice artist, had a voice identification lock on his front door. If it could identify all of the voices he did, who would not be able to get into his house? Tweaky the Robot, Kit from Knight Rider, Tweety, or Barney Rubble? The only character listed whose voice Mel Blank didn't do is that car equally at home in Le Mans and Mensa, Kit. <laughs> but Kit could probably just ram through the door, which just goes to prove that no home security device can keep out a car that really wants to get in. Category, please. This one likes to go by three's geometry. 2,000 bucks for a correct answer. Okay, pay attention here and imagine this three's company episode. Jack, Chrissy, and Janet finally give in to their passions and engage in a three-way toe-sucking session. Since they are all different heights, what kind of... Scalene triangles have three unequal sides, so since each character is a different height, the sides would be unequal. I hear Jack has a great hypotenuse. Okay, pick a category. Step right up for question 19. The selection is... Hey, that's not chicken. And get this one right, you got 4K coming your way. Okay, listen up. Let's imagine this conversation between Hawkeye Pierce and Dr. Sidney Friedman from MASH. It's driving me crazy, Sidney. I hate the idea of war, but I'm committed to fixing these kids so they can go back and fight the war. How would Dr. Sidney Friedman most likely respond? I'm intrigued by your cognitive dissonance. Do you dream of sleeping with your father? You have a vast collective unconscious, or, geez, you're worse than Narcissus. Cognitive dissonance is the tension caused by holding two conflicting beliefs, like being opposed to war, yet patching up soldiers so they can return to battle. <laughs> Or, say, being a dark satirical movie adapted for primetime television. Okay, I need a category. Question number 20. Well, what do we have here? Is that a club in your hand, or are you just happy? Get a right answer, you're walking away with four grand. Picture this, it's 50,000 BC, and you're the hottest Neanderthal woman in the clan. Which of the following is not something a young Neanderthal guy could do to get your attention? Impress you with his elaborate tool, show off his bulging superior orbits, walk around fully erect, or let you play his bone flute? Nope, scientists have found Neanderthal flutes of bone, tusks, and antlers. No skeletons of Homo Zomphirus yet, though. Should've picked this. 
Neanderthal man couldn't handle anything more sophisticated than pointed sticks and crudely chipped rocks. You know, th th that makes me wonder just how old my apartment superintendent really is. All right, hit me. Time. Ah, you think you know the attack, huh? I got news for you. Not all attacks are equal. Here's your clue. Show me the money. Yeah, right. You gotta earn it first. Good luck. Congratulations, my friend. You made it through an entire game by yourself and you came out on top. Not many people can say that, but I know plenty of people who can say... You don't know Great show, everybody. Lovely work as usual. Raul, hon, what's going on now? If so, try the new for There you go, a little high scoreboard surgical strike, getting your name in there, way to go, nice going. If you want to play again, just uh, give me the signal, okay? Take me now. Uh, I'm watching the game. I said now. Okay, whoa! When you're barren, the stone is black. Come on, baby, give me something. Back off, Randy. But honey, read the ring. No more messy temperature readings, no more counting days. Just watch for the blue stone and get busy. Ooh, that was great, honey. Yeah, I bet I'm knocked up. Thanks, Thanks for telling. Fertility ring. Fertility ring. When it's blue, you screw.